vigilante wins in here with a very simple question and that is what is going on with zion williamson no relation i asked that after the worrying post on his instagram of him quoting a biggie song uh, the outro to ready to can i say ready to die i just said ready to die um it's called sidle thoughts that's what we'll say for the algorithm in which he says i can't believe sides on my effing mind i should have it in the thumbnail um and he has a lot of people worried and in talking about this video uh, or talking about this subject um i want to have as much tact as possible we try to have a lot of fun on this channel and the old channel which is now the new channel because i'm going to be doing non-sports content on the old channel so if you want to see that check that out um but we have fun on this channel not the subject i want to crack jokes on though um i do want to be fair I, I try to be as fair to people as i can be and i also try to be as i don't know if critical is the right word but uh, maybe cynical can be the right word i like covering things from multiple angles so i, I want to put it out there that i'm somebody who has struggled with mental health issues myself and anything that is critical of zion Williamson is not done to disparage his potential mental health issues or disparage him or done to minimize what he might be going through um so in saying all that uh i like everyone else am a little bit worried if you know you look every time you look at mariah mills it seems like there's some new uh issue or new you know controversy or new posts or new revelation um in many ways this story is indicative of mental health decay amongst well the entire west due to social media but definitely putting the spotlight on black mental health because you have a, a black woman who is a prime star and she cannot stop posting about this guy because she's addicted to the social media attention you have a black man who's a athlete high profile athlete and if you go off the past what six seven eight years he's gone from somebody when he looked at social media when he was in high school he was a phenom he was this superstar that everyone saw and you know from that point he had the pressure of being the breadwinner of his entire family on him and he had the admiration of all these fans and then he went through you know his, all the years of high school went to duke and had that year where it was kind of like a every game was must see tv year and then he goes to the nba he's compared to lebron james who by the way is a guy that they've made billions of dollars off of comparing him to michael jordan they being sports media there's been so much money has been generated by talking about lebron james versus michael jordan and this guy's being compared to lebron so he's the next person in that supposed lineage of, of greatness and it hasn't worked out that way he's only played 114 games in four seasons totally missed one season um he's had injury issues a lot of them stem from his weight because he has a lo lot of lower body issues um he himself recently in a podcast with gilbert arenas has admitted he has some weight issues um he infamously a few months ago when he had a chance to play in the plan said that he didn't feel like himself even though he was physically 100 percent so he didn't play um i may be messing up that quote i'm not trying to say it to, in any way to disparage i'm just trying to report everything i can as far as his career um so he, he had that drop off that's the reason i brought up him as a, as a youngster or in high school he was a phenom he was one of those ballers life type um youngsters that their mixtape and their, their highlights just go viral and unlike a lot of them he actually made it to the next level a lot of those guys don't even make it to college or the g league or where they had the overtime league but they don't even make it to the next level of basketball and he was able to make it not just to college but to the pros and to be the number one draft pick and to be compared with lebron and then he had all these injury issues and it seems like he has um if not a, a, a pornographic addiction, uh, at least it, he's the type of guy who, who at least, 
I don't know how I'm trying to say this without being disrespectful, but he tends to like a lot of women who are at least in the adult film industry or in the adult entertainment industry. How about that? He is a fan and he, he's somebody who has access to him because of the income he, he's able to, to take in. And I don't think he, he figured that out, you know, figured all the risk out when he did. So I th- and he's only young. He's, he's still what, 23, 24. And he's had all these up and down experiences. He's going into his fifth season. He already has this major extension that he signed, which I mean, a lot of that's on the Pelicans for giving it to him. Um, the few games he has played, he's been pretty brilliant, but he's still not playing as much. He still has the health issues. And now he has this Mariah Mills thing. And so now when he looks at the, his phone, when once he saw admiration he only sees jokes he sees himself being made fun of because of his weight he sees himself getting made fun of because of his uh relationship situation or all the drama coming off his relationship shit i think i was a basketball facts video one of these videos i'm in the comments of where he has this like big red jumpsuit and i even say you know i got my weight issues myself but i can't help but say hey kool-aid um so i mean i'm not innocent and as far as making fun, and like I said, I got my own weight issues. I know weight issues themselves. I know from the past, my experience, weight issues themselves can cause a lot of mental anguish, even when you're trying to address them. In fact, especially when you're trying to address them. That's when some of the, the mental issues can be at their worst because a lot of times food is a, a mask for whatever ails you. And then if you take that mask away, or take that numbing agent, which food can be away, and you're left with those feelings. Um, it can be intense and it can be very difficult. Lord knows I'm dealing with that myself. So I, I absolutely understand that. Um, so I mean, when you really take a step back, it's very easy to think that money is just gonna buy positivity and happiness and just make everything great. Um, and in a lot of ways it can, but there, there's other factors of life that have to to be addressed because if they're not they, they could just you know money won't be able to buy a thing and I think because of the amount of pressure he's under because of the amount of um, craziness from this whole Mariah Mills situation um, I can understand somebody just like I just don't want to be here anymore you know and, that, and he's going to be a new father and I, I remember the Kwame Brown video or short or, or clip maybe it was part of a live stream but he's talking about the pressure that superstars are under and this is a guy who was also number one pick castigated and made fun of as a bust and recently he's been able to own that and come up with his little platform i say shouldn't say little it's much larger than mine right but come up with a nice size platform on youtube and he said that that pressure is something he didn't want. He didn't want the pressure of being the number one guy. And it's a pressure that a lot of people just can't face. And so you have a guy who, you know, had high school and college. He was just thought of as the guy had so much positivity on him. And even what he did in the pros, I mean, he, he's been pretty spectacular again. But now he looks and that, that positivity is gone. And all he has is the pressure. He he, he doesn't have, and I'm, I'm you know I'm sure he has still some fans, but he's going to see a lot more uh, memes about him getting made fun of, and a lot more negative stuff than than he would have in the past. Um, and I get it. That's a lot. You know, you add up all the ingredients, you add up all the, the pressure, you add up the you know whatever issues he's having with his weight even trying to address those issues trying to come to terms with those issues it can be a lot and i do hope this brother doesn't do anything drastic um that said to play angel's advocate um and this is unfortunate we do live in a world where young men and young women especially in the social media age do uh, what's the best way of putting it they use mental health as a as a, an excuse to do whatever they want or say whatever they want or, or, or try to garner sympathy for themselves in a situation. Um, and so we are in that age. That is a thing. 
And that's something that, you know, while I don't think that's the case in this situation, per se, I do think there's a lot of stimuli that can cause these type of issues that he's dealing with. Um, I just, I feel, I feel like I would be remiss if I didn't mention that, right? Didn't mention that possibility and that potentiality. But, you know, aside from that, I really do worry about anyone who deals with these struggles. It's easy to say you would trade places with somebody, but the grass is not always greener on the other side. Even me, you know, it's kind of taking off from the Kwame Brown thing. Um, you know, I, I want my platforms to grow. I want things to be successful, but I do not want to be a superstar. I do not want to be famous. I do not want to be, you know what I mean, out there like that. I, I, I don't know if I can handle that pressure. So as much as I would want the money, it would be nice. Um, I don't think I would trade places with most celebrities anyway. And that, you know, there's eyes wide shut reasons too. But just even on the surface, I don't think I would trade places with most uh, of these quote unquote high profile individuals because there's a lot of pressure put with that. There's a lot of things you have to do. And it, it's not easy to live up to it. It's not always easy to live up to it. So I hope Zion can get the help he needs if if that this is something he can get help for because again you know nothing simple and therapist and therapy is not a cure-all um so if he can get the help he needs i hope he can i hope he does and i hope he can um you know as a sports fan selfishly i hope he can come back to basketball but even if he feels like man i'm just never going to play in retirement is something he has to think about after just you know four years in which only really one full season, I think he had 61 games in one of his seasons uh, was played. Um, you know that that might be a possibility. I don't know. Um, I definitely hope he can get the help he needs. And I get it. I get how somebody who grew up basically with all this admiration and now has to live with all this infamy associated with himself. And uh, I, I get that pressure. And I get just the social media thing in and of itself. I think social media is causing mental health issues. I mentioned Mariah Mills. I think she has some mental health issues going on uh, herself. Her need for attention, the social media drug. And now she, she's addicted to it. And I mean, you can make the argument anyone who's doing professional sex work in and of themselves has a, a mental health issue or something that they're dealing with. So, you know, I, I, I pray for her, too. I pray for both of them. I hope they can both make it out of this craziness. And, you know, I hope Mariah can kind of come to terms with, like, okay, whatever, man. You know, you're not with them. Stop trying to be smirch and, and disrespect and don't dirt on this guy's name just for clout and attention. You know what I'm saying? It's not healthy. That's not going to help you out. And this is somebody who gave you hundreds of thousands of dollars, if not millions, so like this is not <laughs> this is not how you deal with that you know deal with that situation and i th also think it's you know not to be too disrespectful i think she's pretty disingenuous i don't think she was really in a relationship with zion and i don't think she this was something that shocked her i think she knows and knew the entire time she was not in a relationship um and she's making out something to be something that it isn't but what do you think? I've gone pretty long in this video, um, but there's a lot going on. And I, again, I wish this guy the best. Hopefully, I was pretty tactful. I tried to be tactful and respectful. Uh, what do you think? Do you uh, what do you think about Zion? You know what he, what he's dealing with. Do you think the possibility of him just saying this for attention or for sympathy to deflect a lot of other issues is real? Do you think his, his issues are real? And what do you think about just, you know, this is a byproduct of modern celebrity, modern social media, and all that goes with it. What are your thoughts on that? If you like the video, please like the video. If you're so obliged to share and subscribe, please do that. And even if you do none of these things, thank you for watching. Thank you for your time. Good night and God bless. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.